Hi, welcome to Bioshock. <laughs> Let's say Bioshock Infusion, Bioshock Infinite. Uh, we are in downtown Emporia. It starts off with a big fight at which the end a handyman will come out, and there is your first piece of gear. Um, there are a total of 18 lockpicks here, but I have to edit a whole bunch of little text placeholders to change that from 16, so uh, we're going to leave it and pretend that there's only 16. You'll see why I got it wrong as we go on. But there's your first Voxophone up high in the first kind of plaza where you fight uh, there. Then you want to latch onto this and drop down. Um, there are two exits from here. There's one here and one over to the right that way. But we're going to go around to the left and we're just going to do a loop all the way around. Heading this way you're going to meet some snipers and if you didn't pick up Return to Sender in Port Prosperity you can grab it there. Then carrying on up here, this is the sniper zone. Head around to the left here and strangely this is a hairpin lock. Um, but there's no story as far as I can tell involved. Uh, but there are two lockpicks there, that's your first two lockpicks. Carry on around this way, um, undertow may help you pull those snipers down. And then in this room here, downstairs in the basement, there'll be a couple of guys fighting you and a voxophone tucked away under there. That's one from Lady Comstock. So that's voxophone number two. Uh, then carry on round, follow your objective marker around to the right, but not too far on you'll find another door that you can lockpick, and inside here is your second piece of gear there. So don't miss that. Then turn around and head to the left, continuing to follow the objective marker. You'll get up to this square here, eventually here, uh, where there will be a fireman, but his body disappeared for me, but that is where one of the lockpicks will be. Um, and that's the one I forgot to include because I never picked it up, but you might be up to three by this stage. Anyway, on the left, on the kind of higher area, there's another lockpick door in which is your third voxophone, there from Comstock, talking about Indians or something, I think. Uh, and just to the left of it is your third piece of gear, there. And this room has nothing else in it, as far as I can tell. It's kind of strange. It feels like not even money. It's bizarre. Anyway, head around here and you'll get up to Comstock Square. And in front of Comstock Square there is a little statue of Lady Comstock and right under that next to a painting there is Foxophone number four. And that's from Constance, uh, Elizabeth's pen pal. That's quite sweet. Now at this point you may want to go up to Comstock Door because you're only going to have to backtrack here later and it won't ruin anything. So you may want to just go and follow the objective marker. But just along here is your telescope. Uh, that's on the way to the Memorial Gardens. And then a little further on here, you'll see a ruined set of two shops. Behind the first one is a lockpick there, that's lockpick number three. And then a safe there that requires three picks. And a kinetoscope outside, which you may have already got. It's the Irish problem, or solving the Irish problem. There we go. Um, and I think this one appeared in, like, Shantytown, or maybe even earlier. Um, but I'm just getting them all to be safe. I don't know if the repeats count or if you actually have to look at them individually. Anyway. From there, uh, carry on this way. The objective marker, if you've been to Comstock Square, will be pointing up into the Memorial Gardens, but don't go there just yet. We're going to carry on this way. for a bit of Cindy Lauper madness, and you'll find three lockpicks in a bag there, along with your final voxophone. That's voxophone number five. Then carry on around here. You're going to meet some fighting here, but there's a lockpick next to this vending machine there. That's lockpick number seven. And then carry on around here. Take a left and then a right down here into this funny little room, and there's two lockpicks and a little bit of cash tucked behind that bar, so now we're up to nine lockpicks. Ten if you got the fireman earlier. Carry on this way and we're going to find another locked door, so head in there. I think there's a deficit of six or so lockpicks, um, or there was for me, so maybe four lockpicks extra you'll need coming in here. But there is gear number four. Then carry on into this burning room. There's three vending machines you can possess for cash and a lockpick tucked behind the one on the left up there that's a little bit difficult to target, but we got there eventually. Then take a right down here. There's another return to sender if you decided to come this way and you missed it in Port Prosperity. And then stick to the left around here for yet another lock door. But this one is three picks. There's a lock pick there, number 10, or number 11, sorry, right next to it. And an infusion in here. Now we're going to get three more lock picks at least. Well, you can see many more. Um, so you're going to be fine, but make sure you save at least three for that infusion. There's going to be a fireman when you come around here. That's going to be lock pick number 12 there. 
And then carrying on down here, you'll see this, the Founders Will Bleed uh, graffiti on the wall. Take a right there into this uh, shop. It's a Founders Bookstore. There's three lockpicks there in the bin, so you may want to use them for the infusion. And then behind you, there's a safe there. So uh, you can open that if you like, if you've got enough lockpicks. And on the left is a purse and the codebook for the optional mission. Now you can pick the codebook up now or in the next chapter. I'm just kind of emptying this level out now. Then carry on around this way. Uh, and you will find yourself back at the start. So you want to loop back to Comstock House if you didn't activate the gate. Head over this way into the Memorial Garden and you're going to have a pretty hellish fight. I found Return to Sender was just the best thing to do. Stand in the middle, absorb the bullets, chuck them back at her and empty a hand cannon into her face at the same time. It seemed to work. But anyway, head into the Memorial Garden, stick around to the right and get up as high as you can. And up at the back here, what I thought was one lockpick is in fact two, so that's why we've got 17 out of 16. Plus the fireman will make 18 if you manage to loot his corpse. Anyway, up here is uh, just to the right of that. Again, stay up high. You want to activate uh, Devil's Kiss and fire at these torches here, which will open that gate, inside which is your fifth and final piece of gear. So there we go, one infusion, five voxophones, uh, one telescope, one kinetoscope, five pieces of gear, and 18 out of 16 lockpicks. We're doing well. Anyway, uh, on the left is Port Prosperity, if you haven't done that. On the right is Memorial Gardens, the collectibles for that level. And we're basically going to be looping around the same area, but there's uh, some shops which will now be open. Uh, at the top, as always, the playlists. And remember, if you have questions, check the description. That's where I'll update stuff first. Anyway, I hope that was useful. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.